Hey there, it's Dennis. Welcome to the channel. And uh, in today's video, I uh, will be exploring the Google Maps by Radius Finder Bot by Botster. It's gonna be a really quick video. And if you're interested in extracting business details from Google Maps into a spreadsheet using specified keywords, map point, and a radius, this tool might be what you're looking for. Now, the tool will export all the relevant business listings within your specified area, giving you a comprehensive list of companies with their websites, phones, and other valuable data. Links to the tools are in the video description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more automation content. Let's go. To begin, let's locate the bot using the website search bar. Let's input radius bot and click on the first result. You can check out the bot's description, but we're here for the video demo, right? So I'm simply going to click on the start bot button and show you the whole process of configuring the bot and launching it. We're now on the configuration page where we need to tell the bot what it needs to do. So let's begin by assigning a name to our job for easy reference. In case you didn't get it, the bot will create a job which will contain the data that we're interested in. Okay, so let's call our job radius extraction demo assign the project later next we need to enter the specific keywords relevant to the businesses or places that you're interested in make sure to list each keyword on a separate line to ensure accurate results now i'll be looking for bars and restaurants note that i'm using singular forms rather than plural because i'm searching a whole area for a certain type of a place next let's define the radius for our search this determines how far out from your chosen location the bot will search Remember to set this in meters, so think about how wide an area you would like to cover. Now, in case you're watching this from the US, meters are like yards, but more metric. If you think this joke was hilarious, hit the like button, and if you have a better one, don't forget to drop it into the comment section down below. I'm gonna set the radius to 500. Now we need to choose the central point for our search location. You have two options here. Type in a specific address if you have one in mind, or use the interactive map to pinpoint the exact spot you'd like to focus on. Now, I don't have a specific address, so I'm just going to focus on the lower Manhattan area and just drag and drop the pin over here. If you know the actual latitude and longitude of your location, you can input those. But to be honest, I've never actually seen people do that, but it is an option, so that's nice to have. Next, in the notification section, decide your preferred method to be informed once the job is complete. Options include email, email, Slack, Telegram, Webhook, and Zapier for those looking to set up specific automation sequences. I'm going to uncheck everything and uh, now we can click the start this bot button. Okay, the bot created the job and it's now processing. Once the bot completes the job, it will have the completed label instead of the active one. I'm guessing it's going to take a minute, so I'm just going to fast forward the video for you. But in the meantime, make sure to click on the like button if you're finding this video to be useful so far. And don't forget to subscribe for more automation content from me. Okay, you can see that the bot completed the job and we can already download the files by clicking on these icons down here. But we're going to click on the view data button to view our results. As you can see, the bot extracted a bunch of businesses for both bars and restaurants within the area that we selected. We have their coordinates, latitude, longitude, names, and most importantly, contact information such as their phone numbers and websites. If you're looking for more elaborate contact data such as their social networks or their emails, you can use our other bot called phone email and contact scraper. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can extract that data as well. Well, this is it. I hope you liked the video. Click the like button if you did. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.